Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian. Yes, we're back in the car. Uh, you may be wondering where have I been for the past three weeks or so. You may not, but if you don't, then I'm going to tell you anyway. Short answer, Adventure Jam. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Adventure Jam is an annual game jam that lasts two weeks where you get to design, program, and publish an adventure game. This year we have done a game called uh, Long Distance Coughing, which Torpedo Bear assures me is funny, I, I still don't see it, but that's neither here nor there. The point is, last year when we finished uh, Brexit Man, I said, next, next year we're going to do FMV. Because we actually had a ton of fun making Brexit, man. I say actually as if I'm surprised, but we did, even though it was a lot of work, because we essentially did everything ourselves. I did all the music and the artwork and the code, and he did all the writing and the puzzle design. And, uh, and, and it's, it took a fair bit out of us to finish that game. But we were very proud of the result, even though it looked and sounded like ass, because I can't draw for shit. Uh, but we got a lot of really cool dudes and dudettes to do the voices for the game. We, we entered Adventure Jam with a fully voiced game, and we were very proud of ourselves for doing that. And I, th I thought the game was really funny. I can say that because I didn't write it. And I don't think there's ever been an FMV game, like a, like a proper 90s CD-ROM style FMV game. So I said, fuck it, we're doing FMV. And that was sort of hanging in the air for about a year. And then there's rumblings that uh, Adventure Jam is going to start up again. It's going to have a theme this year, a theme of distance. And we're like... Okay, um, well, if, if they're gearing up for Adventure Jam, Torpedo Bear and I looked at each other across vast distances, uh, virtually, uh, looked at each other and said, you know, maybe we should get started, like planning something. Uh, so I wrote down uh, what I had in mind, because what I had in mind was gameplay specific. I didn't have a story. I figured that's Torpedo Bear's department. I've got the, the game mechanics all worked out. It's going to be first person, node based. Seventh Guest-ish style, whatever you want to call it. And all the FMV will be uh, people's voicemails on the phone, or you call someone up on a video phone call, or you find an old camcorder and you play it back, and then the FMV is inside the camcorder viewfinder. So it wouldn't be like like two people meet up in a park and have a conversation, and then you have one person here, and you have one person there, and you sort of crisscross. No, no, no. It would just be... Um, all the FMV would be happening on screens. So we didn't actually have to bring in actors and do shit in front of the camera and go, okay, that's good, let's do that again, uh, and stuff like that. No, you know, like I said, we had some voice actors on Brexit Man who were very, very kind and very lovely and very talented. And we thought, you know what, let's kick it up a notch. Let's just invite all of those back to, well, save for Ikifu, sadly. <laughs> we couldn't find a part for. Uh, but uh, but uh, Papaya Chemist and Pickle Dog and Francisco Gonzalez and uh, Dave Gilbert as Satan <laughs> and Richard Cobbett as uh, Satan's minion, Ewan. And, and we brought all of those back and just uh, ask them to do their performances with their cameras, camera phones. Just go like this and, and film yourself and we'll write your parts and, and you know, we'll, we'll stick it in. Uh, we, we, we took a photo of me holding my phone like, like this. Uh, took a photo of me holding my phone and we just cut out the phone bit and just, you know, superimposed their uh, uh, video inside the, the little phone so it looks like uh, you're having a conversation on the phone. I thought it was brilliant. I thought this is the best idea for a jam FMV game because it saves on a lot of bullshit. We, like I said, we don't have to bring in actors, put them in front of a camera and go, right, action! No, uh, people just sit in the comfort of their own homes and just sit around and, and film themselves, send it to me, and we stick it into an Adobe Premiere template and poop it out, and in the game it goes. And that's pretty much what we did. We met up one day in Torpedo Bear's basement, uh, shot every node, and then we asked, you know, our actors to do their pit, their, their pits, <laughs> do, 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 do. Their, uh, their bits, sorry, that's even worse, uh, their acting bits. And Torpedo Bear and I sat down to plan this before the jam started. Uh, we hadn't gotten a start date for the jam yet. So we thought we had plenty of time. So we brainstormed. We met virtually on Discord, had a, a nice little chat and said, you know what? Um, 
Because I, I, I sent him this, the, you know, the gameplay stuff. You know, it's all on screens, all of that, blah, blah, blah. So I said, Sir Peter Bear, take that, run with it, make up a story, let's go. And he calls me back with this absurdly uh, ambitious idea. Uh, it, 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 it involved the basement. <laughs> that much is it carried over into the final game. Uh, it, it involved going into people's flashbacks, so there were multiple locations. Uh, and it had a much, much more serious tone than, you know, technically what I was expecting. But I was, I was like, okay, that's an interesting idea. And I actually went, all right, let's do that. Because, you know, we didn't really... It was, it was more of a loose idea. It had a good story. And we were like, okay, let's do that. I'm not, I'm not explaining too much of it because I don't want to spoil it in case we end up doing it sometime later. But uh, very, very soon... Like the next meeting we had a few days later, I, I had some time to sort of mull it over. And I went, first of all, that is a lot. And he had, he had come to the same conclusion because he was trying to sort of, okay, map it out. Let's go location one, location two. Here's the puzzle. Here's the flashbacks. Here's the FMV. And he's like, okay, that is actually quite a bit of a mouthful. Um, and my second complaint about it was that it wasn't goofy. And uh, not that we have to do goofy shit all the time. Brexit Man was pretty goofy, and pretty much every Adventure Jam game I've done has been pretty goofy. And it's not like that's a prerequisite or anything. I'm, I'm all for doing some more serious stuff with Torpedo Bear in the future. The problem is we're doing FMV, and it's going to be rough around the edges because we only have two weeks to do it, so it's going to look goofy. And if we do this with a very serious tone and take ourselves way too seriously, it's going to come across as even more goofy and unintentionally goofy. So I, I thought we should embrace the goofy. And so he, so, and, and actually what I did was I wrote down a story, like on the day I was going to tell him, I'm not doing your idea because it's too ambitious and it's not goofy enough. I thought that would be a hard pill to swallow for anyone, especially to like really good friends like we are. So, so I actually sat down and wrote up an, a different idea that also took place in a basement. First of all, he agreed that his idea was a bit too ambitious and then he had to look over my idea and he was sort of taken aback by it. I don't think he expected me to go, uh, I, I don't like your idea, here's mine. Which, in hindsight, probably wasn't the best way to go about it. <laughs> uh, but he, he took it in stride. And, and so he said, all right, give me a couple of days. I want to mull this over and I want to I flip it. I want to, you know, absorb it and I want to turn it into my thing. And I said, great, that's what I wanted you to do. On the next, like the meeting we had after I'd shown him the thing, the next meeting we had, he had written maybe like half a dialogue, like half a phone call dialogue. And all of a sudden, Stacey Davidson and the Adventure Jam uh, organizers just come right out of the gate and said, by the way, we're starting tomorrow. It's like Thursday or something. Uh, Adventure Jam starts on Tuesday next week. It's like, fuck, we thought we had time to plan this year. We didn't. So Torpedo Bear ended up uh, thinking that he had the, all the time in the world to write his like his magnum opus screenplay, like really get into because Brexit Man was sort of also like written ah, on the fly, like, oh, shit, we haven't got time. That kind of thing. And he wanted to avoid that this year. So he wanted to take his time and really sink his teeth into it. And he sunk his teeth into about half a page of dialogue before, the, before it just went, boom, off we fuck. Uh, so he had to, he did it all over again. He did the, oh, good, good God, man, I'll never make it kind of writing. So, um, short story about um, our Adventure Jam game. We filmed some stuff. Uh, during the making of it, which I will now play for you uh, through the magic of editing. It is coming up. Uh, so here is the making of our Adventure Jam 2020 game. It's called Long Distance Coughing. It takes place in Torpedo Bear's basement. And we couldn't be happier with the result. Like, it's rough around the edges. Of course it is. It was made in two weeks. There were other entrants, as we later found out in Adventure Jam 2020, that used video or photographs. But I would go so far as to say that, one, we were the only, like, true, old-school, 90s, shitty CD-ROM FMV game of the jam. And two... We were the only ones who really made a big stink about being FMV. Uh, others had like uh, f uh, scanned photographs uh, or uh, like, like photograph backgrounds, but then animated characters on top. And no, we did proper shitty late 90s CD-ROM FMV. And we reveled in it. It is intentionally shitty FMV, although the actors really brought their A-game, I think. But they got on board with the whole schlocky 
90s CD-ROM FMV shit. Uh, so anyway, that's enough rambling from me. Here is um, some bits and pieces I filmed over the uh, over the making of a that's a game, uh, starting from our visit to Torpedo Bear's basement. Yeah, hope you enjoy that. So, penguin. I'm not the Space Quest historian. He is! Hello! And we're uh, making a Space Jam game for the Space Jam 3 3! With asbestos! Whee! <laughs> Are we filming? Yeah. Cool! <laughs> Alright, boys and girls, we're doing an FMV game. It's really silly. It's in Torpedo Bear's basement. So right now we're taking photos of all the shit you can look at. Uh, for instance, this shot has a bunch of shit you can look at. Yes, look at that. Look so at we're that. We're photographing all of this, but, but do you see the shadows playing on the wall? Shadows. So much shadows. So much shadows. So, well, of course we don't want our shadows on the wall. Anyway. So anyway, so we don't want shadows on the wall, so we have to uh, put a timer on the camera and then just dash over at the end of the room so our shadows doesn't... So, let's dash! This, and then we dash. And then we dash. And now, our shadows are... Fucking shadows! Woo! Cast a shadow as well. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take it from the this angle over here. So we have to do it something like this. Oh, yeah, and the light goes out like all the time. Yeah, there's a timer on the light. You're right here. Meow. Yeah. It's a little motion sensor. Uh, this uh, adventure game is sponsored by the magic that is the Super Top Form. The Super Top Form Power. Mm, so delicious. But don't worry, it's not corrupting power because it's light power, so. No shadow being cast right there. Damn it, I wanted this shot. Well, I can't have that shot. you can't have that shot, unless you do it with the, um, blitz. The, the blitz. We're not doing the blitz. Blitz, great pop. <laughs> I'm, I'm such a dick. We're not doing the blitz. This <laughs> is my vision. <laughs> I will not compromise my mission with blitz. There we go. So, are you ready to dash? Yes, we're going to dash now. Five, four. Three, two, woohoo! Excitement! So now we start opening shit. So, uh, oh god. This one can open, and then you have to click again, and then there's a. Yeah, so we mean a. Yeah. Okay, so. This is correct. Thing. And then we are dashing! Dash, dash, dash. Woo! We also need a shot of this without the dictaphone. Without the dictaphone. <laughs> so, um. This is movie magic, guys. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so this is, um. We got the shot. This is the uh, whole thing that we're doing today. Yes. My butt shot. This is the penguin. Oh, Mr. Penguin. So anyway, we really hope this turns out to be a, a, a game. <laughs> That'd be great. I will, I will add no superlatives to my vision of the game. <laughs> but I do hope it will become a game that you can actually play. And that's good. I ran it back at the end. Meantime, I can show you. So this is the basement. These are the pipes in my basement. And if you go in here to the spooky doorway, it will become light, I see. And you go around here, and uh, you go around here, and you find an open door. And all my junk. So most of the stuff you will see in the game, we just kind of pilfered from my old storage locker. 
super exciting. Whenever your boyfriend or girlfriend tells you to throw stuff out and why the hell are you keeping it, just say, well, you don't know. Maybe one day I'll use it for a computer game. Argument one. Wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Here we go. Now for the grand reveal. Hello. I don't think it's supposed to do that. Nope. They're entirely overexposed. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Okay, so this is gonna be very awkward. Uh, I'm in my car, uh, aka what is now uh, the official sound studio of, well, our Adventure Jam. Uh, tonight is just going to be a bit of a test because Rizulka asked me to do a couple of lines for her game. Uh, so I'm in my car in our parking lot. Uh, luckily the windows have sort of glazed over, tinted over, because it's been a bit rainy and it's a bit foggy, so, uh, but, but I'm still just parked outside of people's houses, so I'm still feeling a little bit exposed, to be honest, and Rasulka's lines wants me to do a bit of shouting as well, so I'm not entirely comfortable about that, so I'm, I think I'm actually gonna scoot over to the local landfill, which is like two minutes away from here, and do my lines there where no one will hear me because all the landfills are closed. See, like, fuck, there's a car right behind... Well, it was I was technically not in the parking lot. It was on the road behind me, but still. Um, so uh, so tonight is just a test, really. I've got... <laughs> I've got my work laptop, and I've got... Hang on. All the cables have kind of got a little... Fit, okay, here we go. Uh, <laughs> i got my microphone and my little microphone stand and my lovely uh, headset, and... and um, and the uh, um, and my work laptop, and uh, we're just gonna go for a little ride, and pretend that my car is now a sound studio. And and like I said, this is a test. I'm just gonna record Rizulka's lines, but eventually I'm gonna do this all over again because we're gonna have to do lines for our game here. So um, yeah, one of Rizulka's lines is me shouting, "Woo! I'm down to fuck." I'm not doing that in the parking lot. No, I. I think I'm just gonna go for a tiny, tiny little ride, I think. <laughs> Okay, so it's not quite the local landfill. It's actually a bit further away than I thought, but this is a nice little cul-de-sac. It's an industrial area. No one can hear me scream here. If I master it tonight, then come weekend, when it's time to actually do my own lines for our game... Is this back to front? Yeah, it is back to front. Maybe I can just rest it. Yeah, I can just rest it here. Shit. Shite. 
shittily dick. I thought I could just like attach it to, I don't know, something here. I've got the brakes on, haven't I? No. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit and hold it like this. I've tried, <laughs> I've tried everything and nothing works. Okay, so I decided to balance it down here because the laptop is on the passenger seat so I can read my lines. And the microphone is sort of wedged uh, in the back seat over this little thing in the middle and it's all very, very strange. <laughs> so, and it's gonna get stranger because these lines are weird. It's not polite to allow my pets to leave. I was planning on keeping them. Very interesting they were. Well, that's professionalism for you. So that actually worked kind of well. Um, you probably couldn't see it, but uh, I uh, had the microphone sort of wedged in here, like this. And then on the passenger seat over there, you've got the laptop. And so I was just sort of leaning over, going in like this. Of course, the pop filter was, uh, was up a bit further. And from listening back to it on headphones, it actually didn't sound terribly bad. So, <laughs> guess we're doing this again at 10 in the evening. It's a quarter past 10 in the evening now. Yay. Yay me. Yay professionalism. Yay adventure jam. All right, time to go work on my own game. Wow. Just had a meeting with Torpedo Bear. Uh, this is, well, it, it was Saturday. It is now Sunday. Uh, it's 2.15 in the morning. Uh, we went through the entire game and we've got all the FMVs in. We've got all the dialogue in. I've written all the click events. And we were able to finish the game, you know, from start to finish. Uh, it took us two hours to sort of sit there and bug fix everything. And I've been working before that. And pretty much all week has been, you know, bedtime around midnight, sometimes a little more than that. Uh, these jams, man, they're fun. But they do uh, take away <laughs> from other things. So anyway... So now we've got what we're quite certain is a finishable game. We were able to finish it. So now I have bounced the first beta of Long Distance Coughing, which is now the title of this game, a beta version, which Torpedo Bear is going to play through uh, tomorrow. I am going to record all of my lines for the protagonist tomorrow in my car in an abandoned parking lot <laughs> or cul-de-sac or wherever the fuck it was. Um, we did a little um, auto numbering and bouncing of the uh, script, the protagonist script, like right at the end of the call when we finished the game, ran through all of it and then uh, got to the end and decided, okay, now beta and all of that, we just did that auto number thing inside AGS where it goes in and numbers all the uh, uh, character lines and then we exported the script. The protagonist, that would be me, has somewhere over 300 lines. That may not sound like a lot for you know an entire game, but that means I have to record 300 plus lines in my car in an abandoned parking lot tomorrow and then I have to spend the day after tomorrow, which is a Monday, which is a school day. I have to spend that time editing and cutting them out and converting them to OGG and putting them in the game. That's a lot. That's a lot of editing. I mean, if, if I'm quick and I only do one take of each line, then, you know, things should be good, I guess. But it's still... Oh, Monday is not going to be fun day. It is not. Uh, and it is now 2.18 in the morning on a Saturday. Normally that wouldn't be a problem, except I've got a kid who's sleeping up. Don't worry, he's not dead. He's sleeping upstairs. Um, and he is going to wake up at around 
seven or something, and then I get a little more sleep. But I can't sleep until uh, I can't sleep later than let's see, 10 a.m. in the morning. So, all in all, sleep is something I'm gonna have to catch up on later, I think. But at least we've got a finishable game. Hopefully, unless Torpedo Bear somehow manages to break it with the beta version, which is really what he's supposed to be doing. My hair is fantastic. I am off to bed. Fuck this. Mm. All right, here we go. It's Sunday. It's nine o'clock and the uh, mobile sound studio is off and rolling. We're gonna go and do all 300 and something lines for this FMV game of ours. But not here. Not in the parking lot of where I live. Uh, so we're gonna go to our usual cul-de-sac of horrors and do it there. So here we are in beautiful downtown industrial area of Roskilde. It is 9.12 in the evening. Let's, um, let's do this shit. Well, uh, uh fuck, phone, stay. <laughs> okay, so time is fucking clock turned off because I've been here for so long. Hang on. Seven past ten. Okay, so this took me about an hour. Uh, I've gone through all the lines. There are 369, Lamau, lines in the game. I've just recorded all of them. I forgot my water. This water has been in the car for months. I am not drinking it, and there's very little in it. But that's all the lines, and it is only 10, so maybe if I hurry home, I can also get the 911 calls that we still think are absolutely hilarious uh, that my wife recorded today, earlier today, that still need to go in the game. Did I mention it's Sunday? And the jam ends on Tuesday, but I can only work on this for two or three nights, uh, two or three hours a night. And I'm really thirsty because a lot of Jim's lines are like right way up here because he's very scared. Oh my God. So um, yeah, I didn't have to shout, I'm down to fuck, which I think is, oh, uh, which is probably pretty good. By the way, a truck came by while I was doing my lines. Uh, and that sounds horribly wrong. I wasn't doing lines. I was doing lines like lines. <laughs> so a truck, a truck pulls into the cul hang on, I'll show you. Pulls in around the bend and has a merry drive around the whole bend and then, you know, just sort of passes me. I, I'm a terrible cinematographer. Hang on. So comes around here, goes around there and, and, and I'm parked here and just sort of scoots by and then fucks off again. And I, I started my car immediately. I was like, holy fuck, is this guy, uh, am, am I in his spot? What, is this a spot? Did I take someone's spot? This is my recording spot. I, but I didn't have dibs on it. Could have been someone else's. Could have been a weird, angry truck driver's spot. So I, I started the car immediately. I was like, fuck, I better get out of here. And he just sort of turned, didn't even look at me, I don't think. Uh, and just sort of fucked off. So. <laughs> I hear a siren. It's not for me, I hope. I should get out of here. <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna scoot home and I'm gonna see if I can get those 911, because the 911 calls are FMV. Of course they are. Uh, but my wife did them and she's very lovely and very pretty. Uh, so she's, uh, and, and they're funny as hell. You can call up 911, uh, in three different junctions in the game and it's, it's, it's fucking amazing. Uh, but it's, I'm not gonna lie, a bit stressed. I'm a bit less stressed now because it only took an hour to do this. Uh, it's gonna, so, so hopefully I can get the 911, 911 things done and I should not be wearing headphones while I'm driving. I'm gonna fucking scoot up seatbelt, seatbelt. My god, Jim Walls would kill me. Seatbelt! It's, it's nice to be able to shout again. Someone is definitely coming for me. I, I can feel it. So I am fucking off out of here. Did I miss anything? Yes, handbrake. There you go. Let's fucking go, people. <laughs> I just have to cut out, individually number, compress, and convert 
369 Lamau lines. Why did we ever think this was a good idea? It's actually been fun. It's, <laughs> I tend to freak. See, the thing is, I tend to freak out about nothing, really. Uh, like, I tend to freak out about the wrong things, usually. Like, things I should freak out about, I don't. And uh, things, that I, things that are really small, really meaningless, I tend to freak out about a lot. And so Peter Bear is kind of the same. So, was that my exit? It wasn't. Uh, so so we're, we're a good team and a terrible team for both of those reasons. Because <laughs> when, uh, when I show Torpedo Bear the, the game and something messes up, like uh, a, a, a video file had the wrong number in it or something, AGS can't play for some reason, it just pops up this text box that goes, by the way, this video file can't be played. And the dude nearly has a heart attack. He just goes, the game is broken! I go, relax, dude. It's just a misnumbered file. It's fixed in two seconds. God damn it, I love the man, but we tend to freak out about the most absolute meaningless shit, both of us. It's terrible. I hope I don't kill anyone as I make this turn. The line is green. If anyone dies, it's not my fault. Absolute bag of shitheads. I'm talking to no one. We're gonna get this done. Torpedo Bear's been testing the game. He hasn't broken it yet. He's only found minor things. No, no, I'm, and I'm, I'm no saint. I'm a, I'm a complete stress ball because uh, every evening, and he's, he's been really good to me too, uh, every evening I have to walk my kids to sleep. Walk, not rock, not sit down and rock the baby to sleep like he's a normal fucking person. No, I have to walk him to sleep, um, which I'm not a person who exercises, but man, my calves are gonna be giant enormous once this kid grows up um so and and uh, he, he doesn't sleep very well these days so i'm a bit stressed like when i sit down to work on the game is the chances are he's gonna wake up my wife's gonna come down and my wife is very understanding about this whole thing but uh so every once in a while i'm just like dude can't talk closing discord working on game shut up <laughs> and he's been very he's given me a lot of leeway on that account so bless his heart fucking weirdo. I'm home. God damn you. Jim's a real dick, you know? Everyone everyone in the game is a dick. Even the one token female character we have is a dick, too. Okay, hand, Mr. Handbrake, do your thing. There we go. Turning off the engine. Right. Leaving! Right. <laughs> It is, well, it's almost one in the morning. And as you can see, no, you can't. There we go. It is uploading version 1.0 of our game to Game Jewels. So barring any unforeseen catastrophes, this means we've actually got a full game. Couple of brief points. Some idiot programmer uh, left out three relatively, well, two relatively minor, no wait, three relatively minor and one sort of crucial voice line uh, from when you talk to the detective, played by Francisco Gonzalez. Um, one of those lines, one of those lines, sorry, mouth is going. One of those lines is when you I shouldn't spoil it, should I? No, I, I really shouldn't. Anyway, um, it's one of the pivotal lines, and when you click on it, the protagonist says nothing. It's a minor thing. It doesn't break the game or anything, but uh, I was a little bit like, ah, God damn it! because if I have to go and record that, I have to get in my car and do the whole thing again, and it's good. Shit. So we've been having this shorthand, Torpedo Bear and I, uh, which is uh, once when we run into something, and we think that would be great to fix. We don't have time or we can't be fucked or um, we don't have any more time. Um, the shorthand is just special edition. We'll wait for the special edition. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be a special edition, but don't tell him. So, oh, what? oh, it just went to upload completed. It is processing. Tomorrow I just have to fix screenshots, graphics, and there we go, there we go. Select other if this build is for a platform that is not 
your horse. I, I am I am not a horse. I'll just uh, I'll just save draft here. And I'm off to fucking bed. Holy shit. Well. Oh, I gotta set a maturity level too. There is no maturity to be found here. Sorry. Anyway. God, that is an unflattering angle. Not much better. Anyway, fuck it. Off to bed.